folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Keystone Passport 199 ML. This is an awesome couples unit, a versatile floor plan, you have the slide out U-shaped dinette here with a Murphy bed, so you have a couple different seating areas and a big rear bathroom. Plus it comes in at a little over 3,800 pounds, making this unit easily towable by a lot of your mid-size SUVs. Let's actually start off right over here on the kitchen. So what you'll see is that you have a campsite kitchen here, a door side kitchen, window right here, which gives you a view out to your campsite, also lets in some natural light during the day. Double bowl sink, as well as the three burner cooktop here on the countertop. Now because they gave you the full size appliances here in a smaller camper, uh, they also had to give you the sink top cover, so that way you have usable prep space right here. Cool thing about these though is just like just like as I mentioned, you can use these as prep space. They also are cutting board quality. Uh, never mind the antifreeze on there, but if you flip these over, you know you can just use this as a cutting board. I say flip it over. You generally want to use just one side as a cutting board. That way, one side stays nice and pretty for when you have people over. But double bowl sink, larger one on the left, smaller one there on the right, which is perfect for washing and rinsing dishes. And then over to this side here, as I mentioned, is that three burner cooktop, the front one being high output. Directly underneath is your oven in case you want to do some baking. And if we take a look underneath that, you see some good open storage right there. Of course, you have the heat duct running through, but this is probably a good spot to put some of your larger pots and pans. And over to this side right here again, more storage all throughout. Something that all passports will have is this right here, which will be your two full extension drawers. They'll be tucked away somewhere. This way though, you actually have a functional kitchen. You have a spot in which you can put your silverware and then, or your flatware, plus all your other larger utensils like spatulas, knives, things like that. Right up top here, you have the decorative door. We open that up and you'll see that there's good storage right in there. Your main control panel essentially is right here. You have your slide out, your power awning, which we'll see that when we go outside, as well as your lights right there, microwave, and then a fully functional hood with a light and fan. Then right around the corner here is your Dometic fridge freezer combo. We open that up, you see you have plenty of space in there. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right down below here, you'll see the ducted furnace. You have one duct running here. You have a couple more throughout the camper. Uh, again, a small, a small camper like this, this will do a great job, certainly, of keeping it nice and warm. You also have a roof-mounted AC unit in here as well. Uh, the AC unit, the controls for it are on the unit itself. For the heater, your thermostat will be located right here next to your tank monitoring panel. So if you need to measure your tank levels, that'll be here, as well as your water pump and your water heater. Do note that this water heater, folks, also runs off both propane and electric. You can turn on both of those at the same time for faster recovery. Right back here is the rear bath. So when we open it up, you can walk in here with me, folks. You'll see how nice and spacious it truly is. You have your foot flush lever toilet right here. I'll sit down so you can see that I have plenty of leg room even when the door is closed. Good room here in these shoulders, too. Over to this side, you have a plethora of storage. Starting off right down underneath, beneath the sink, you'll see good storage there. Even though you have to contend with the trap, you can still put some cleaning supplies and stuff in there, some chemicals to dump in your black tank, things like that. Right over here, you'll see good storage right down below. Coming back up to the side right here, you'll see the mirrored medicine cabinet. You have storage behind that. And if you take a look over in this side, look at this giant wardrobe you get back here. So not only do you have the storage up front, which I'll show you a little bit later, but you have this huge wardrobe there. Vent fan right up top, of course. And then over here to this side is the tub shower. I'll stand in here as well, just to kind of give you an idea of height. I'm six foot. As you can see, I can just sneak underneath the ceiling here. But if you're a little bit taller, they do have the skylight, which gives you that additional headroom and lets in some natural light. Curtain built in right there. You have the shelf, of course, for your soap and shampoo and then the hand wand to make showering a little easier. So we step back out into the main living area, you see your entertainment center right here. Now this is on a swing arm mount, which is cool, because that way you can you know, kind of flip it out and around if you're sitting in the dinette, turn it toward the kitchen, you know, if you wanna watch something while you're cooking, or you can leave it right where it is to be able to watch it from the uh, sofa. Now mind you, if you are on the sofa, folks, it's not a huge TV, it might be a little tough to see, uh, but at least it does give you that option. 
right up here on the side is your multimedia center. So this is kind of cool. You'll see your speaker control right here. You have uh, speakers inside as well as outside. You can put it on both so it's playing the music on both at the same time. Other cool thing about this, folks, is it is Bluetooth capable. So if you have music on your phone that you want to listen to, or maybe you uh, downloaded the latest episode of Stories on the Road podcast, you can connect to that via Bluetooth and be able to listen to it right here in your passport. If we take a look up top, you'll see you have a little bit of storage right up there. And then you also have the cubby hole right underneath. So a uh, good extra storage area right there. It's actually larger than what you get in a lot of floor plans like this. Generally, it's a lot narrower here. But that's actually a pretty decent uh, size storage space there. If we take a look over here in the slide out U dinette. So this is really what kind of helps set this floor plan apart. What makes it very usable, at least in my opinion, is the fact that you get this sofa, which I'll show you a little bit in the form of the Murphy bed, plus this big U dinette. It definitely opens this space up. And again, you get all this at just over 3,800 pounds. The u dinette is awesome because whether it's just the two of you having a meal or if you have friends over, which when I go camping, that's my favorite part is to hang out with friends and family. You have a spot where people can comfortably sit and have a meal together or play a game together. And if you uh, need to have a place for people to sleep, this table does drop down into a bed where you can sleep two adults right here. Another cool thing, you'll notice that the, the back has the pattern on it, you know, so that way it looks nice. The bottom hover is this leatherette, which I'm glad they did that because it makes it much easier to clean. You will see that uh, you have a couple of windows right up top here, so that lets in some natural light right there. And down below, you also have storage underneath both sides of the dinette. So big U dinette, again, a very versatile, lots of places to sit, plus it gives you those extra storage options. The AC unit I talked about, folks, that is right there. So again, uh, the way this works, you just kind of open these vents up and it blows the cool air wherever you need it to and the controls are located right on it. Then as we make our way up front, this of course is the Murphy bed. So uh, the reason you get a Murphy bed or the reason that people want them is essentially it gives you a sofa and a floor plan where you normally wouldn't have one. Plus it also helps open the camper up. You could have a fixed bed in this floor plan, you know, it'd basically come right out to here but it really you know, shortens the camper, makes it feel a lot smaller. It's kind of cumbersome to be able to walk in and around it. Whereas here, you get a sofa. You get an extra seating area for people that come in. Uh, so again, you can uh, sit you know, six people in here quite comfortably. To turn this into a bed, I'll do it real quick for you. This is just a jackknife sofa, so you drop it down. You'll see that you have storage underneath too. So just like a fixed bed, you have storage underneath it. Now, when you drop this down, you'll see these kind of get stuck a little bit, and that's fine because we want this tight so it filled, uh, builds a nice base for us, and that drops down like so. Now, mind you, if you, you know, just have uh, little ones or something that want to take a nap, you can drop it down just like this, folks. You can have the kids lay right here. You know, they can take a nap. That's not a problem. However, when it's actual nighttime and you want to go to bed, you'll see you have these locks on either side. You'll simply undo those. You'll take this right here. This drops right down, just like so. Now you do have a handle on the front, but honestly I use that more when I'm lifting this one up rather than dropping it down. It's kind of cumbersome to use that when you're dropping it down. And then you'll see right here you have the tri-fold sofa, folds out just like that, and boom, there is your bed. On both sides you'll notice you have mirrored wardrobes, so you can open those up. Good storage space in here. I showed you the big wardrobe back in the bathroom. But again, you have two more wardrobes here, so you have plenty of storage for your clothes. Right down below on the one side here, you'll also notice you have a nightstand with an electrical outlet. So it's a good spot to charge your electronics at night. Or if you sleep with a CPAP machine, you can put that right over here as well. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Passport 199 ML. Right up front here, you have your two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. Easy to get in there. You just undo these two thumb screws right there, lift it up, and there are your tanks. Right behind that, you'll see rails here for your battery. And then coming up the front, you have the diamond plating to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. As we come around the side here to the pass-through, you'll notice you have a covered hinge. That way it doesn't rust out, you know, much of nasty rust coming down your door. It's also magnetic, so you can put it up there just like so. You don't have to worry about any plastic clips or anything snapping off on you. When you take a look inside the pass-through, you'll see how nice and clean and open it is. A couple things I like about this. 
One is the fact that it is so open, you don't have anything running through here. Another is the fact you have the same size door on that side as you do on this side. So no matter what items you put in here, you can get them out from either side. A lot of manufacturers will put a smaller door over there to save some money. You also have an LED light in there so you can see at night. And you can see the aluminum framing. This is a fully laminated product here, so you have the aluminum structure. Uh, obviously, that is laminated together, vacuum bonded to create that solid wall here on the outside of the passport. Right up top is your power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And you can see there's an LED light strip underneath there as well. So that way you don't have to hang up your Christmas lights and unless you got ones you really love and you want to put them up. Otherwise, though, you just flip a switch and you have light at night. Getting into the 199 is quite simple. You'll see you have two foldable steps right here, as well as the grab handle, just to give you a little more support as you're entering or exiting this RV. Right down beneath here are the wheels. Take a look at those wheels, folks. Those are aluminum alloy. Not only do those look nice, which you know definitely helps give that pop and appeal as people are walking by your camper, but also they will continue to look nice because aluminum doesn't rust. Right here is an outside electrical outlet. If you need to plug anything in, this is the place to do it. And right up top there are your two outside speakers. So as I mentioned, those are controlled by that multimedia center inside. But like I said, that is Bluetooth capable. Right back here is your outside shower with both hot and cold water access. And as we come around the back, you'll see the water heater there. You also have your spare tire here. Now you'll notice it doesn't have a bumper, so they mounted it right here on the back. That way it is still super easy to get to. You don't have to get down your hands and knees or get underneath the camper. And because you don't have the uh, bumper to store your sewer hose in, what they did instead is they gave you a little spot right there. You can undo that cap and pull your sewer hose right on out. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Keystone Passport 199 ML. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.